We are in for a classic here, Chase. Black Label Pro Turbo grabs 24. We have Sky Blue and Jungle Kiona, who has endeared herself to the fans here already. A stardom standout taking on folks of the caliber of Io Shirai, my guy. But Sky Blue, no slouch herself, being in the ring with the folks such as Maki Ito, Nyla Rose, Shazza McKenzie, and Kylie Ray. Like I said, this is going to be a good one. This is something that I'm, I'm, you know, throughout this tournament, we've been looking forward to a lot of matches. This is definitely an interesting one. Uh, ooh, Sky showed off some athleticism early on in the match. Ducks the head kick, does Kiona. Throw the line. Telegraphed it a little bit too much. Going for the hip toss. Stop counting through. Beautiful pin. Pulled over into a crucifix. Pin. Pulled over into a sunset flip variation. Fish out of water, they are going crazy over there. This one's gonna be about who's done more homework on who. I agree. Both of these women, fantastic set of movesets. Sky Blue maybe a little bit more athletic. However, I've, I've only seen a little bit of Kiona's work and stuff, so I don't wanna, I won't talk out my butt or nothing like that. But right now, both of them showing, oh! But Sky with that mean girl edge right there, taking advantage. I think that coming into play, seeing that's gonna, how that's going to sway the match. If Sky who's willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. I know this is this is Jung Kiona's Black Label debut. Yes, it is. And so she doesn't want, as in Sky, doesn't want Jungle to get comfortable. She wants her to know that this is my territory, this is my ring. 
This might be your debut, but I run things around here, especially in this tournament. You said it. Like I said, Sky Blue, Chicago native. So Northern Indiana, basically her back door and stuff like this. This is her backyard, you know what I'm talking about? Like this is where she wants to be. Jungle Keon, we've been wanting her here for a long time. Once again, a stardom standout. And oh my God, you think that that plays into the head of Sky Blue? Do you think she's maybe hyped herself a little a little up too much, knowing she's going against an international star? Do you think that's going to cost her in the long run? You know, there there is a, a thin line you have to walk when you go going against somebody as the caliber of Jung Kiona, especially international wrestling superstar such as herself. But, you know, if you don't hype yourself up for a match like this, if you don't pat yourself on the back and tell yourself you belong here, you deserve to be here, then you've already lost the match. Yeah. You have to win the mental battle before you step into the ring. And if you can't win that, then you've already lost. And if Sky Blue's already won that battle, and it says she's the best person that has stepped in that ring today, then she can very well win this match. You saw that spinning heel, or that spinning leg lariat into the cartwheel elbow strike. Snapmare over. What is Sky Blue? Going for it next, taking her time, and a pie face. That's not that's not the smartest thing you could do into a tournament. You want to win. This is one of the few times we have seen someone waste their time in the match to use it to, to almost not even get in the head of their opponent, but to kind of psych themselves up more. I think Sky Blue's pissed off about the reaction Jungle Kiona got here in her debut. I think Sky may be using this match to remind people of who she is and why she is here at Blackpool. Now again, that's where that, that thin line that you walk comes across because she leans too much in trying to prove everybody else something and not prove herself that she belongs oh, here right. and she could win this match. It'll be her downfall as we see from the counter from Jung Kiona right now. Yes, that side slam perfectly placed. Duck in the line. Catching the cross body though is Jungle. Maybe sending her for a fall away slam. Hey, yo. Kiona with the jungle strength right there. Sky Blue is reeling, eating a shoulder tackle. Jungle with another shoulder tackle. Ready to go and marching on. Jung Kyoto keeps on with her shoulder, shoulder tackle. Tackles. Falling splash, perfectly placed. Center of the ring, Sky Blue knocked the wind out of her. She almost didn't kick out of that one, Chase. Yeah, I don't think Sky was ready for the, the three back-to-back -back shoulder tackles. I think getting taken off your feet once is a surprise, but she was never able to regain her stature after that, leading to the other two and leading into the splash to take the breath out of her. I agree. What is Kiona going for a year? Boston Crab, high angle on that crab too, but sitting down with it. Yeah, the high, the high grab and the deep seat. Ooh. Now switching to a single leg yes. to give it more torque. Yes, beautiful. I, I can't see from this angle if she's got her, her arm all the way around the Achilles tendon as well as that hand underneath the knee to put on more torque. And Sky Blue, though, being able to get to the ropes. The thing about certain competitors, too, many of us are we're built different and such like yeah. that. Some of us are more flexible than others. It depends on our training. Sky Blue, we saw from that running leg lariat, she has great flexibility. Yep. That definitely saved her there from that leg lock there in the Boston Crab. But the damage is still done because, as you have pointed out, using that leg lariat, she has longer legs that she uses to her advantage. So if she's not able to... Oh, knee use. strike! We just talked about the long yep. legs using her advantage. But right there, Kiona using her own speed to her advantage after following Sky. Sky with a forearm strike there. Where is she going now? Off the ropes, ducks it. Super kick perfectly placed. One arm neck breaker using that arm for added momentum. That might be it. She's got the arm hooked. The quick snap to your neck and the immediate landing onto your back on top of it. It definitely sends chills down your spine and not in the way that is like you're watching a scary movie and it gives it to you. Oh no, absolutely not. It could knock your adrenaline out. It makes your body go into danger mode. Swimming through, beautiful victory roll. Not enough. Sky blew up to her feet. Met with a forearm in the, sh in the center. Sky throwing her own at jungle. Yona with the forearm strike. Oh, they've decided, all right. Forget all the fun little wrestling stuff. We're just going to slug it out in the middle of this now ring. it's time to box. <laughs> Bam. Shot for shot here. And these, and these women, though, right now, I don't know if this is the best idea. I think they should try to go back to their game plan and just try to put the other away fast as possible instead of just doing this. Oh, my God. Straight elbow Beautiful. strike to the oh sternum. My Knocking the wind out of the sky blue and bodying her. 
but this can't we can't just do like a, a I'm better than you contest and such. We have to actually win it. Out striking doesn't mean winning the match. But that clothesline almost did. That clothesline was almost enough, but almost doesn't win you races, right? Almost doesn't win you matches. You need to win definitively. Oh, oh my god, we have the hips or the, the, the hip, waist hooked rather. Going for the power bomb. No swimming through. Oh my god! She's got her, she's got her deep! She was able to turn that into a Rana style pin! Quick kick to the gut to cut off Jung Kyo to Sky Blue goes for the shoot off. Oh, oh, into a beautiful backslide. That was fantastic. That is amazing footwork there from Sky Blue. And holding on to the wrist control to transition into something different. What is she going for here? Uh, Chancery. Oh, where is she going? Oh my god, maybe a. Is that a sleeper? Does she have a sleeper? Looks like a guillotine. Yeah, no, you're right, a guillotine. She has her legs hooked around the waist. She just got her feet crossed, making it even more difficult for Jung Kiona to get up and grab the rope. I'm not sure if Jungle knows exactly where in the ring she is. That was a crazy transition, popping herself up into a suplex style position, then swinging her legs around into lock into that guillotine. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Kiona's free, Kiona's free! Oh, oh, that is a brain buster! She went, oh my god, Sky Blue's up! Sky Blue's up! Beautiful stutter in the middle of the ring. And Jung Okiyona is out. Sky Blue very upset that her stunner didn't win. But I don't want to tell her this. She's going to be really sad if she wastes more time and it costs her the victory. Yona tried to redirect it, lost her hands, lost the grip rather. Sky Blue capitalized on her mistake. Up to the Sky second row to get to the top. Oh, Ooh. just a straight slap. She was up in the sky, and now she's seeing stars after that one. Uh-oh, what are we going to see Oh, here? is it time for the Jungle Buster? At least I believe that's what it's called. Oh, my God. Marching Sky around the ring. Oh, my oh. God. Neck breaker. I believe that is it. You said it. Jungle Buster for the win. A fantastic showing from both competitors, but Jungle Fiona moves on.